All right, so I'd like to take you back in time to 1914 when Edwin Booz founded our company and pioneered the field of management consulting. As the company grew, Booz Allen helped government and business leaders solve some of the United States' greatest challenges. A fun fact, if you watch the Super Bowl this season, you can thank Booz Allen for helping to broker the merger between the American and National Football Leagues. Today, we have expertise in cyber, digital solutions, and are the leading provider of AI solutions to the US federal government. So we have this amazing 110-year legacy of management consulting, and in recent decades have undergone a major transformation to a technology company. In recent years, we've hit a tipping point where over half of our 35,000 plus workforce are technical, and developer culture has popped up in pockets of the company in service of different clients and different missions. My role within the CTO is figuring out how developer experience and open source principles relate to the ways we've been working to lead us through this transition and into the future. I've served in roles as a software engineer, developer relations for some of the first intersource projects at Booz Allen, and I'm currently the product owner for our internal Backstage developer portal. A little bit about our Backstage instance. It's been in production for about two years and is comprised of community plugins, some custom-built plugins, and we're also leveraging the Spotify role-based access control commercial plugin. Our initial focus was on discovery of just what was available within the company to be shared company-wide and breaking down those program silos. And we also have piloted provisioning new microservices based on backstage templates. It also serves as a proving ground for understanding how developer portals and backstage could help our clients. We started out with a handful of developers who were very passionate about the solution, but weren't seeing widespread adoption for some reasons I'll talk about next. Since then, we've grown our community to over 2,000 unique users. So there's still room to grow, but we've learned a lot of lessons along the way, and hopefully some of those will resonate with you. In talking to developers and through user testing, it was hard not to notice that many of the barriers to adoption were not really technical, but cultural ones. For example, the need to know mindset when handling classified information versus the transparency of open source. As government consultants, we absolutely have to handle classified information with the utmost care, and there are also some internal investment type projects that benefit from more open collaboration. We have a strict time charging policy to ensure that we're accountable to our clients, whereas a lot of innovation in open source happens through developers volunteering their time. There's a lot of hierarchy in government and consulting that's often necessary for how decisions are made, whereas tech culture tends to be more of a meritocracy. It doesn't matter who you are, what matters is the code that you write. There are also many layers of policy and legislation that have built up over time in corporations and government, whereas tech culture tends to be much more agile and lean. It's not that one side is inherently better or worse than the other, but it's about recognizing situations at which it benefits us and our clients to apply new ways of thinking. I'm sure you can think of some of these cultural tensions that may exist within your organization, and we heard some great examples in the panel discussion earlier today. We realized that navigating these tensions was a change management problem. The change that we're trying to create, which will be familiar to many of you, is to have our developers register shareable code in the catalog, leverage that reusable code to save time and improve quality and security, and also to reduce the friction in developers' daily workflow through the single pane of glass view that Backstage provides. We realized that we would have to think like consultants, come full circle, and apply change management principles to actually implement this change, which was a bit countercultural. A change management model that's been helpful for me is ADKAR for Awareness, Desire, Knowledge, Ability, and Reinforcement. 
So we want to communicate the change that's going to happen so people can understand what things will look like after the change has been implemented, sympathize with people's concerns, provide training and resources so that they have the ability to measure success, and finally, we want the change to become a habit over time through the right incentives and reinforcements. There have been a couple of initiatives at Booz Allen that have really helped us to navigate those cultural tensions and apply the ADCAR change management model to drive backstage adoption. Due to the hierarchy of our organization, we realized we needed both a top-down approach for our leaders as well as bottoms-up buy-in from developers themselves. The first top-down initiative is our reuse strategy. This involves the reuse not just of code, but also of other business assets like agile processes and templates. And this also allows us to leverage AI internally for knowledge management and even generative AI based on governed and vetted sources of information like the Backstage Catalog. So how does this help us apply ADCAR? For awareness, it's allowed us to connect Backstage to company strategy and something even bigger. It's also provided success stories and examples that are relatable to folks who may not be developers. And we've also come up with a process for tagging and cataloging reusable assets within our company-wide ecosystem, which includes the Backstage Catalog. And this has allowed us to be part of conversations with many different departments across the company, including talent development, employee experience, and legal. And so that's helped us garner leadership buy-in so that when developers see opportunities for reuse, they're met with understanding from their leaders. And finally, for reinforcement, this is where we have a lot of room to grow, but ultimately we really want to be able to demonstrate the return on investment of reuse and a streamlined developer experience. The second bottoms-up initiative is our Technical Experience Groups, or TXGs. These are company-sponsored, member-led groups that give opportunities for networking and career development. Similar to special interest groups, these span a variety of uh, developers serving all different clients and missions. And this is really important for us because as consultants, we're very embedded in our client missions through our projects. And the TXGs give employees the opportunity to connect with their Booz Allen colleagues over a shared interest in technology. There are about eight broader topic areas, including cyber, software engineering, data science, and those have all smaller communities of practice, and there are about 15,000 employees who are members. So how does this help us apply ADCAR? For awareness, we've been able to advertise backstage through various events and newsletters put out by the TXGs. They've also helped us identify champions and provide training. Most recently, we worked with the TXGs to revamp our new hire onboarding training, including providing information about what's available through Backstage. And the software engineering TXG in particular has been a great source of alpha testers and user feedback. Finally, the TXGs have been a great source of funding and also recognizing and awarding champions who have really been contributors to our catalog. In summary, when you're trying to drive backstage adoption in an environment that feels countercultural, listen to your developers to understand the cultural tensions that may exist within your organization. Try to find or create groups like the TXGs that will give you a diversity of perspectives. Second, find your allies. These could be similar groups working on related changes throughout your company. I'll leave you with my favorite definition for the role of developer experience, which is to represent the company to developers and developers to the company. And I believe Backstage has an important role in that conversation. Thank you.